Uh, BJP uh, ministers adamant uh, asking Rahul Gandhi to apologize for those comments made during his Cambridge visits. And now at that time, uh, those, uh, those comments uh, that he made uh, during his Cambridge visit that are causing disruption in parliament, his cousin and BJP MP Varun Gandhi has declined an invitation to participate in the debate organized by the Oxford University. The debate organized was on whether India under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi is on the right path. He wrote, I see no merit or integrity in vocalizing internal challenges on an international forum, adding that I believe that the chosen topic is not one that offers much scope for debate or dispute. We have my colleague Akhilesh uh, joining us to get us more on this. Akhilesh, the big question being, will Rahul Gandhi be allowed to speak in parliament today? He himself has gone on to say that he's doubtful that he'll be allowed. Unlikely uh, because the uh, house is unlikely to function normally because the BJP and the government is adamant that Rahul Gandhi should come to the house and apologize to all the members and the entire country. And BJP has warned that it will intensify the campaign across the country in the coming days. In fact, BJP MP uh, from Jharkhand, Nishikan Dubey, has uh, publicly said that uh, a special committee should be formed to investigate whatever Rahul Gandhi has said uh, during his UK visit. And these amounts to uh, uh, in, an insult to the democracy, and that's why he should be disqualified uh, from the Lok Sabha. Mr. Dubey has reminded about 2005 incident when uh, 11 MPs were di disqualified uh, due to the allegations of taking money for asking questions in parliament, and that uh, disqualification was upheld uh, by the Supreme Court at that point of time. So Mr. Nishikan Dubey has uh, requested the Speaker that uh, a special committee should be formed, and yesterday there was a meeting uh, chaired by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, and eight top ministers attended that meeting. In that meeting, the government finalized its strategy to step up the pressure on Rahul Gandhi to uh, apologize uh, to the country and parliament for his remarks against the Indian democracy. And Mr. Rahul Gandhi has said that he wants to speak in parliament, but BJP and ministers say that he is just one of the MPs of, uh, of he's just like any other MP and he should not be given any special treatment. And if he wants to say uh, whatever he wants to say, he should come to the house and follow the normal procedure. So there should not be any special treatment meted out to Rahul Gandhi. And uh, today, Akhilesh, again, you know, another senior minister is likely to make remarks. Akhilesh, Sorry. he went on to say yes. if democracy was functioning, then he would be allowed to speak. That's right. That's why that's why BGP says that you know he wants to keep both the uh, things in his hands. If he is not allowed to speak, he can say that the democracy is not functioning. That's why he's not allowed to speak in parliament. And, he, and if he is given a chance to speak uh, in Lok Sabha, then of course he can repeat whatever he wants to say and make uh, all those allegations once again. So that's why Rahul Gandhi is playing very safe. You know, he knows it very well that he'll not be given an opportunity because the house is unlikely to function because he's not going to apologize for his remarks in uh, made in UK.